for Edmonton Strathcona. Well, Mr. Speaker, how about if the government takes this one seriously? Disturbing information has come to light about developers giving substantial payments to the Manning Centre to support their pro-development candidates. Mayor Nenshi has blown the whistle, saying, quote, it's very hard for Manning Centre Director Chuck Strahl to say, we had no idea the donors thought that's what they were doing. As Mr. Strahl is also chair of the Security and Intelligence Review Committee and therefore banned from political activity, can the government confirm it is investigating this matter? The Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Mr. Speaker, if the member uh, from Edmonton Strathcona has concerns about municipal affairs in Calgary, she, she should raise those with the appropriate Calgary authorities. And the Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, what we're concerned about is the activities of the Security and Intelligence Review Committee. If they're actually committed to this being nonpartisan, they must take this seriously and not crack jokes. Mr. Speaker, Chuck Strahl is obligated to remove himself from political activity, regardless of what it is. Regarding the Manning Centre, Mayor Nenshi also said, quote, I'm sure the Canada Revenue Agency is going to have a lot to say about this. With these revelations, will the government agree to look into the political activities of the Manning Centre? The Honourable Minister. So just a moment ago, the NDP was asking the government to interfere uh, in management decisions of the RCMP, and now the NDP is asking the government to interfere uh, directly and instruct the Canada Revenue Agency to do particular investigations. The NDP is trying to ask the government to launch particular witch hunts against particular organizations. Mr. Speaker, that would be unlawful, it would be inappropriate, uh, and, and it's bizarre that the NDP would suggest it. The 